Hey, Fred Minnick here. Excited to talk about the Kentucky Bourbon Benefit that the Bourbon Crusaders, the Kentucky Distillers Association, and my team, we've been putting together all week. This is an auction of epic proportion. Something like this would usually take like six months to plant, but we've been able to do it uh, with a matter of like three day, three to four days. That's because distillers and the bourbon community come together in times of crisis. And right now, we are doing everything we can to help rebuild Western Kentucky. It's going to be a long, long fight, and I'm in it for the long haul to help Western Kentucky rebuild. Um, there's a lot of distilleries, such as the Bar Distillery, such as uh, Green River, uh, that have actually been going out into the communities and doing things. My... Um, my very own, you know, one of my best friends, Jessica Ann, her family was was personally affected. You might remember Jessica from, uh, you know, she used to work for me. Now she's uh, selling uh, barrels out there. You know, so keep these people in your prayers because it's just devastating. I grew up in Oklahoma and I saw tornadoes just rip through so many, so many uh, communities and take so many lives. They, are, they uh, you know, Mother Nature is... is unpredictable and tornadoes are among the worst things that can happen so we're doing everything that we can to raise money to bring attention to this and so i want to want to preview some items that as you see this the, they should be live uh, a little bit about how the bourbon uh the kentucky bourbon benefit is going to go uh we are dropping more than 100 uh items today on uh, December 16th. So these items are dropping on December 16th. We will drop more items on December 17th and the final round on December 18th. This will be an online auction up until December 21st, where we take about 15 items, maybe more, 15 items from the online auction, and we go to an actual live auction. Our auctioneer, Bill Minish, will be uh, taking bids uh, from online, on the phone, maybe even in person. Nope, won't be in person. We can't have people there. But it will be uh, happening uh, December 21st at 7 p.m. I am going to live stream it to the YouTube channel so you all will be able to see how the bidding goes. And in the descriptions, you will see live, live auction. Um, and that will be in the description of the item. So before I get into the preview, uh, I, I do want to say that it is um, it's human nature for for a big auction to come out like this and kind of get discouraged and and feel like you know you can't make a difference or you can't do anything. I'd encourage you to think about it this way. Everyone has a social media platform. Everybody has uh, a few friends. If you find yourself wanting to comment saying like, well, that's stuff I'll never see, you know, take that energy and, you know, put the uh, put the link of the of the auction into a social media group that you belong to or tweet it. You know, you never know. You just never know. And we want that energy to just be really positive. We really want to push it out there. And we want people to realize this is about rebuilding Western Kentucky and not necessarily about the bottles, about the experiences. It's You're going to get something awesome if you win something in this auction. You're going to get something really, really awesome. But at the end of the day, it is about helping Kentucky rebuild. So remember that. Remember that, please, please. As you see these things skyrocket, if you can afford to keep bidding, if you can bid a little bit, please keep doing so. But just remember that even if you can't, you can still make a big difference. You can make a huge difference just by telling someone about it, spreading the word, because we need all the help that we can get. So now I want to get into the preview. Now, these are... These lots are, um, they're going to, they're coming in uh, at, at various places. You're, and I'm, going, I'm pulling out a few different things that I want people to, um, you know, take a, take a look at. Uh, the first one was donated by master distiller Chris Morris. It's a 1971 uh, President's Choice single barrel from Brown Foreman. These were iconic. 
iconic whiskeys. These are actually, one of these, this exact year, is on my top 10 list of greatest bourbons I've ever tasted. Now, you know that Old Crow, the Old Crow chest piece, if you follow me along, you know the Old Crow chest piece is is number one. That thing is phenomenal. But this is knocking on the door. It's in the top five. A 1971 President's Choice. Definitely, definitely want to take a look at that. Uh, a 2009 Old Rip Van Winkle 23-year-old decanter. I remember when this was announced. I remember when this came out, and I remember seeing it in the store for like three, three hundred fifty dollars, four hundred dollars. And I remember just kind of being like, "That's a lot of money. What is? What are they? Is this is this cognac? You know, because you could always see, you know, always see cognac being sold for far more or high end scotch. So you think about two thousand nine. This this decanter was going for three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. Because right now uh, there are retailers selling it for like forty thousand, and the authenticity of this cannot be put in question because it is being donated by the one, the only Preston Van Winkle is donating this decanter, uh, putting it in the auction to help raise funds. And this is one of the very few, very few American whiskeys I have never tasted. So I've tasted the 25-year-old uh, that they did the decanter series, and I've tasted the majority of the pappies, you know, through bars, through friends, and things like that. Uh, but I have never tasted the 23-year-old uh, decanter. However, this would have been from Stetsoella. This would have been the the prime of the prime whiskey that they would have put uh, in a package like this. So. I'd say if you've got um, if you've got the means, if you've got the friends who have the means, uh, go ahead and uh, bid on this. And if you win it, give me a call. I'll come sip it with you. That's a promise. I'll I'll uh, I'll get a plane ticket and come over and uh, sip some uh, 23-year-old Van Winkle in a decanter with you. Uh, this is a bottle that I personally uh, put together. This is, and I am donating it. This is the Fred's Blend from Smoke Wagon. You may recall a uh, live stream that I did with Aaron from Smoke Wagon. Well, here it is. We're putting it in the lot. So you'll see that in the, uh, in one of the top, the, it's in the top 15 of the first day. Also from Smoke Wagon. Now, this is an enormous, enormous donation. And I can't even begin to tell you uh how um how thrilled i am to see this in the auction and that is aaron from smoke wagon has donated he's donated a lot by the way but this is one i'm calling out for this uh for this kind of preview he has donated 60 bottles of rare and limited edition small batch small batch it's a composite of 10% 10-year-old, 10% 11-year-old, 10% 12-year-old, and 70% 4-year-old. Now, folks, Smoke Wagon has came on as one of these brands to be reckoned with, a brand that you just, uh, you know, you just, no one really saw coming. It has a lot of uh, incredible interest. And that's because of, you know, his, his blending techniques, the fact he's doing his own contract distillation. But I also think, you know, when you when you get into the bones of a lot of his uh, releases, a lot of them have extra age out there in Nevada. And I think there's something too that uh, that dry heat adding just a little bit extra flavor there. So I know there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on that. But I mean, if you think about it, 60 bottles of uh, of one of the most highly coveted releases, bourbons. I mean, that's just an amazing donation. And all of this is, of course, going to help rebuild Kentucky. Uh, a Glencoe five-year-old, a bottled and bond donated by Kurt Colson. Of course, he's in the bourbon community. Everyone knows him. 1937. So this is prior to so many, so many uh, laws that are on the books today that have kind of changed, uh, changed uh, whiskey, uh, and more so about like. You know, from barrel entry proof and taxations and a lot, a lot of things. Uh, the 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 grain would have been different in 1937. 
Uh, the barrel wood would have been first growth. I mean, you're just looking at so many pieces that would make this 1937 bottle special. Now, here's one that I I have to tell you that you cannot um, you cannot underestimate how amazing this will be. If you are an Angels Envy fan, you have an opportunity to win a barrel of cash strength angels envy you get to go pick your own barrel of cash strength angels envy i mean that's pretty much unheard of uh those those cash strength products they go crazy quick and you know you're looking at something that goes you know 270 to 300 bottles it's going to yield a lot because those port barrels that they finish man i mean they're pretty hefty so i i'm going to tell you right now that's going to be i think that's probably going to be the if it's not the high uh the high item of the night or of uh, of this auction uh it's definitely going to be up there so this is a an incredible incredible barrel pick and you will find you will find the uh link to link to bid in the description as well as a, as a pinned comment so as soon as this is posted i'm going to put a pinned comment up there and you can uh, and you can see that there too another barrel pick that's of uh great interest uh, it's going to be dropping uh tomorrow uh, and that's a Willet eight-year-old. A Willet eight-year-old will be dropping. Also, there is a uh, Michter's. I'm not a Michter's. A Four Roses uh, of a very old Four Roses will be dropping uh, tomorrow. And that's uh, December seventeenth. Will be dropping tomorrow. You've got uh, a, an old Forester. You got a Woodford Reserve uh, one dropping uh, tomorrow as well. But today, what's dropping? Uh, another one that's really uh, to put your put your eyeballs on. That is, and this is donated uh, by All Star pitcher uh, Walker Bueller from the uh, from the from the Dodgers, Los Angeles Dodgers. He is donating a signed jersey and a lot of Mictors that includes Mictors twenty year old. Listen, Dodgers fans are Dodgers fans, but Mictors fans. You know that that 20-year-old bottle is really going to be epic if you get it. There's also a Willet 16-year-old in here. This is a Willet 16-year-old that you can you basically can't get unless um, you know, unless you're inside like some of these charity auctions from the past. This was a barrel pick by the Bourbon Crusaders. Uh you I, I think this is one, you know, that may, you know, if you have uh, a budget you know, this is one where I, I would put it all together and, and try to get because you're never going to get these flavors ever again. This whiskey, this whiskey is epic. I personally, I personally paid a lot of money for one of these, and uh, it's incredible whiskey. Uh, we have a 1974 Old Crow um, four quarter quart, and you know this uh, that bottle that bottle is going to be affordable. That one is probably going to go because not a lot of people have this particular one on the radar. You know, if you only have a couple hundred, few hundred, I mean, I'd say you have a shot at winning this. So people who think that you don't have a chance to win something, uh, you know what? I think I think you you might be surprised. There's also a bottle of uh, Jim Bean Lineage in here. Um, I think that's one too. Like it's not on a lot of people's radars. I love that bottle, and you may you you may not think um, much of it. But there's, uh, I just think that there's a lot of stuff in here that people will be able to get. So don't be discouraged when you see these big ticket items because there are some bottles in here that you can uh, definitely get. There's also some experiences that I think are incredible. NFL Hall of Famer, Heisman Trophy winner, Super Bowl winner, Charles Woodson, who has a bourbon. He has a Woods, Woodskin, Woodson whiskey line. Uh, he will take you on a private tour at Green River Distilling and do a tasting with you. So if you're a Michigan Wolverines fan, an Oakland Raiders fan, Green Bay Packers fan, uh, that's going to be a pretty doggone epic uh, adventure there. And of course, there's a Henry McKenna 10-year-old in here. You all know I love me some Henry McKenna. Uh, I'll be bid on, bidding on that one right away. That was donated by a dear friend of mine, Sean Sennett, by the way. Uh, oh, and for the for the rock and roll fans, I've got a couple pretty good, pretty cool uh, experiences here. Uh, Scott Ian of Anthrax has donated a 
Uh, he will handwrite some lyrics and, you know, handwrite some lyrics out for you from an Anthrax song. Um, Manor James Keenan from from uh, Tool is off, has uh, donated a Zoom wine or bourbon tasting. So if you uh, if you're a big Tool fan, if you're a big Maynard fan or a Pucifer fan, you know I highly recommend going after that one. I'll be on that one as well, uh, and so that could be uh, a lot of fun. Terry Bradshaw's also donating a a barrel. Uh, that one will be dropping uh, either tomorrow or Saturday. But so Terry Bradshaw is is dropping them. Uh, we also have donations from uh, Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson donated a signed hat. Um, you know, and just overall, we've got we got a lot of things in here, like uh, the Leopold Brothers Three Chamber, which has gotten a lot of rave reviews from people like me. Uh, but you just don't see them out there. The circulation isn't out there, so you're you, you'll be able to get one. Uh, Detling Detling Bourbon, the one out of Alabama that I really like, I talk about all the time. That's going to be in here. Um, that's the first bottle of bond bourbon that you will that has has, has come out of, of Alabama. So it's a historic bottle uh, that you get an opportunity to get. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. A lot of private barrel picks from folks. Uh, there is a there is the original Sam Houston bottle. This is one not to rest on. Uh, this is coming. This was originally the the brand that uh, Jefferson's was putting together. This is being donated by Westport Whiskey and Wine, uh, who is uh, a partner in this um, in this auction. And you will find out if you get that Sam Houston. It's a ten year old. You know, there's not going to be on a lot of people's radars. So if you only have a few hundred to put together, uh, maybe a group that wants to to go in, this is what this is a bottle I would target. It's absolutely going to not be on a lot of people's radars. Going back to Smoke Wagon, here's two other lots that Smoke Wagon has put together. They put together a he put together a ten the first ten bottles of the um, of the limited single barrels the rare and limited single barrels he put together the first 10 and those were distilled immediately after mgp had acquired the lawrenceburg indiana distillery now in there you will see like what the proofs are in the descriptions but i mean again smoke wagon just really stepping up here he also donated the uh, a bottle of the highest proof 140.79 a nine-year-old it's the highest proof from a smoke wagon ever uh, talk to him and he says, you know what? He's like, you can't believe it's it's 140 proof. Uh, we have a lot of the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection here. You'll find a lot of Wellers. You'll find a lot of Stags, uh, a lot of barrel picks. A lot of people really opened up their hearts. They opened up their, uh, they opened up their, you know, just their bars. They pulled their individual bottles out. And they're they're donating them. So I I just have to say like the overwhelming amount of donations that we have gotten from a product perspective, it's just it's just overwhelming. It's overwhelming because people care that much and people want to help that much. And you know the the truth of the matter is is that this is just the beginning. You know the people in Western Kentucky are gonna have a lot of um, a lot of things um, to deal with over the next next few months and we want to make sure we're there for them and it's all about rebuilding western kentucky so when you get on here um and that's kybourbonbenefit.com when you get on here and bid you are helping rebuild kentucky so i want to thank you all so much for giving me your time to uh, uh listen to me preview some of these items but go to kybourbonbenefit that's kybourbonbenefit.com and let's see if we can't uh, raise a lot of money for the victims of the tornadoes in Western Kentucky. Thank you so much for tuning in.